Hey, what's up guys? I'm Liam, and in today's video, I am going to be going over all of my Samsung smartphones and I see you can call them dumb phones, as in these types of phones, you know, like the flip phones and the slide phones and stuff. But anyways, I'm going to be going over all of them, and I'm going to be telling you what they are and where I got them from. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so first let's start off with the smartphones. So starting off, we have this Samsung Galaxy S1 Vibrant on T-Mobile. This phone works perfectly fine, and... It's a decent phone. Um, so yeah, there it is. Let's put that one right there. I think I got this one in a lot of three phones for like 20 or 30 bucks, including two HTC G1s, which if you didn't know, those are the very first Android phones. Both of them are running Android 1.0, by the way, which is amazing. But yeah, sorry for the thunder. Like, it's about to storm really hard over here. Anyways, next up we have this... S1, what is this, a Fascinate or something like that? I can't remember, but unfortunately it does have a busted AMOLED screen. It powers on and the motherboard works. Um, it's just that the screen does not show anything because it has a busted AMOLED, so that sucks. I actually did, somehow, I was able to connect it to this screen, even though they are two different looking phones. Um, <clears throat> And the screen from here actually worked on the motherboard that came out of here, so that was kind of cool. But, yeah, I was able to go around in the phone, so the phone worked. It's just that the screen's busted, so I won't be able to show you turning that on. Next up, we have this. This is a Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic on Sprint, and while it is cracked, it does fully function if it decides to turn on. Okay, there we go. That took a while. Jeez. Anyways, it functions totally fine. Um, this is also a pretty decent phone. There's the boot up sound if you wanted to hear that. Um, but yeah, I like this phone. It's pretty nice. And yeah, let's put that right there. Next up, we have a uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 on T-Mobile. I don't know if this one's going to have any battery. No, it does not. It just is completely shattered in the middle. Um, surprisingly, the AMOLED works totally fine. Um, if this one has battery, this is another S3. This one's on Sprint, and it is a mint condition S3 I got from the Target bin. By the way, got this in a lot of 100 phones. Got this one in a recent lot um, for my birthday, and I got this one from my uncle, um, and then this one from the Target bin. Um, as you can see, this one's turning on. Um, it works fully. Um, it yeah, when when this is done turning on, I'll show you that that one works. I don't know why, just because why not. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is a decent phone as well. It runs very, very smooth. I really like this color. Um, and, yeah, there's, like, nothing wrong with this phone. It's pretty much mint all the way around. All right, I'm just going to take out the battery. All right. And as you can see turns on and everything like that. I'm just going to take that out for now. Anyways, um, as you can see, both of these work. They work perfectly fine. Um, this crack and this crack was not my fault, but the shattering in the middle was. <laughs> um, long story, I'm not going to tell it right now. Anyways, next up we have the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now this one had a bad AMOLED from the start when I first got it. Um, it wasn't as bad as this until I did a prank for April Fool's and tossed it off the balcony, but, um, yeah, I, I mean, the motherboard works, but the AMOLED didn't, and it was already cracked, so, whatever, S4s are cheap, I just haven't gotten another one, I really want another one, though, um, like one that actually works, but, oh well. <clears throat> Next up, we have an S4 Mini, now this, this one was my fault, um, long story as well, but it fell straight down onto concrete. Um, anyways, I did put a really bad screen protector on it, but I guess it doesn't want to power on. So, I have an idea. I'll, I'll show you that the AMOLED works by plugging it in. Um, yeah, surprisingly, the screen still fully works on this thing. I don't know how. Ah, there we go. Yeah, as you can see, it works. Um, I'm not going to charge it up all the way, but... Yeah, it works. 
Next up, we have one of the three S5s. Um, by the way, one of the S5s I cannot find right now, but this one I got for 30 bucks off of eBay a good amount of time ago. It's basically mint, other than that line. Um, it's dead right now, though, which sucks. But, I mean, whatever. Um, there's that little nick right there, but all it needs is a new charging port cover, and that's about it. Um, it does have some sc um, screen protector damage from an older screen protector that screwed it up, but that's about it. It's just, I don't know, from dirt and stuff, particles and crap like that, getting in between the screen protector and the screen, and then pressing down just made those little indents just like scratches. But that kind of sucks. But it works, and I don't care. Buttons are fully clicky, they're not sticky or anything. So that's cool. Next up, we have this S5, and this one um, I got from Target. Uh, this was my last, one of the last finds I got from Target. And as you see, I took off the screen. I wanted to practice with screens. Um, I knew I was going to have to get a new screen for this thing anyways, since it was cracked, and I wanted to make it mint. But um, this thing has a boot loop issue where five seconds after it fully boots up, you can do anything on it, but as soon as it launches, I think it's when it launches the camera, it fails and shuts down and boots back up and crap like that. It'll keep on doing that until it dies, um, but you can... <clears throat> mess around with it for the 10 seconds that it's on and it won't do that until it launches the camera in the background or something like that I don't know but yeah I, I took off the screen I haven't messed with it really after that um, but I want to get a new screen and I want to um, diagnose what's wrong um, now as with the screen as you can see I kind of burnt it with the hot or uh, uh, the heat gun that I got um, but that was the first time ever using it so don't get mad at me. Um, the screen came out fine. It's just that the touchscreen was jacked up because I accidentally screwed up that cable with the metal um, thing because I was an idiot and I didn't even look up, look up a video on how to do it. I could have saved the screen. The screen still works. I could have saved the screen and the screen still works. It's just that the touchscreen is screwed up um, and it has that burn mark which kind of discolors it a bit down there. Um, <clears throat> especially down there where the glass is missing a bit. But, yeah, other than that, it works. It just needs, like, a new camera or something like that. I don't know. Next up, we have my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. This was my fault. Um, yeah. Um, anyways, let's see. Does it have juice? No, it does not. Um, so I, I really need to get a new screen for this, but... For now, I guess this will do, since I'm not using it as a main or anything like that. Um, I'll plug it in for you guys, just because why not, but... Yeah, as you can see, the screen works. It does have spots up here, but it's not too bad. There's no lines or anything. Um, but I, I, I love this phone. I do. And it sucks that I cracked it, but... I was an idiot, and I had a really bad case, and I was waiting for a new case, since my mom was supposed to order me a, a case, and she got the new, she got, a, okay, so listen, she got an S8 Plus case for me, and I don't have an S8 at all, never had an S8, so we had to return that, and I was waiting for her, because she promised to get me a new case, <clears throat> she promised me to get, she promised she would get me a new case, and it took so long, so I was with a beat up case and I dropped it a lot doing stupid crap in ninth grade. But yeah, now I have a new case. Um, so I'll put that on, protect it while I can. Um, I'm going to order a new screen soon. I don't know when, maybe the next thing I order. I don't know. Anyways, that one works fully. Um, and yeah. Anyways, next up we have my Samsung Galaxy S7 Active. Um, it works totally fine other than two lines going down the screen right there and some spots right there and then it's cracked right here but I got it for 30 bucks not too long ago um, did an unboxing it's actually my second most popular video which is amazing um, and yeah that video has like almost 300,000 views or something like that I don't know it's crazy but I love this phone it's an amazing phone um, I used it as a main for a bit um, I unlocked it to T-Mobile um, until it stopped connecting to the internet. It would only call and text, and then I wouldn't be able to use the internet at all other than for that, which kind of sucked. 
So I was like, yeah, nope. I'm going to the iPhone 6. And yeah, I, I used the iPhone 6 for a, as a main until I got my Moto X4, which if you haven't seen that, it's right here. And yeah. Um, anyways, next up we have the Samsung Galaxy J5 2017. Now, this phone is an amazing phone. I love it so much. This phone is just amazing. I don't know why. I just, I love this thing so much. Um, Front-facing flash as well as rear-facing flash. The cameras are amazing. AMOLED screen um, running 8.1. Not Android, but the um, home UI. It's Samsung Experience Home um, version 8.1. Works perfectly. Um, got it in a trade with Phone Maniac YT. I traded my S7 Edge, my shattered one, um, for this thing. And I love it. I do. My S7 Edge had a very, very, very badly shattered screen with a line, or a couple lines, and stuff like that. And then he broke it. He fully broke it the day after he got it, so good job. Anyways, next up we have this. Yeah, um, this screen actually was not on this phone, but this is a uh, Prevail LTE, and it worked totally fine, except it had a Samsung account on it, and then um, it actually has the screen that's on here. This screen came off of this. This is a Core Prime. Um, this screen was originally on this, and this is from my friend's phone getting ran over. And my friend gave me his phone, and that's this phone right here, so I just kind of switched out the screens, both, like the LCD and the touchscreen. Um, and it, it worked, even though these are two different phones. Technically not, but they have two different names, and I don't know. So I was kind of, that was kind of cool that it worked. Um, I unlocked this. It was on Metro PCS, but I fully unlocked it um, in, as you see, Galaxy Core Prime. It works totally fine, other than these buttons down here don't work. This one, the LCD doesn't even work because I don't even have it screwed in, or not screwed in, but um, connected to the motherboard. But yeah, this one's fully unlocked um, to any carrier. I can use this with T-Mobile, Verizon, anything like that, I believe. But um, I unlocked it for free via the um, Metro PCS unlocking app, which that's the reason I love Metro PCS phones. I don't really like them as the carrier. Um, although I haven't tried Metro PCS, but I love their phones because they have the free unlocking app that you can unlock the phone if you want. Um, but yeah, anyways, works. Works fine. This one has a bit, uh, um, like the touchscreen is a tad bit messed up. Ah, uh, come on. I need to get a new screen for this. Aha, there we go. Um, but it's on 5.0.1. Um, and yeah. Next up, we have another Core Prime from Phone Maniac YT with, I don't know if this is a real S-View case. I don't think it's an S-View case, but it says Core Prime on it. I don't know. Maybe this is made by Samsung. Maybe it's not. Anyways, um, I put a screen protector on it, as you can see. It's kind of a crappy one, but it works for now. Um, I just found it laying around, so I just put it on. Um, but yeah, this one works totally fine. It's not cracked. It just needs a original back. And... Oh, it died. But, yeah, it works perfectly fine. It's on Android 5.0.1. And, yeah, let me flip these over because I keep on forgetting to do that. Next up, we have the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. This one works perfectly fine, um, as you can see. And this is one of my all-time favorite phones because it's a Samsung Galaxy running stock Android, which is amazing. So, yeah, there's that. It's on 4.2.2, I believe if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I love that Nexus logo. Uh. Next up, we have the first Nexus Samsung made, which is the Samsung Galaxy, or not Galaxy, but Samsung Nexus S. Kind of gets confusing a bit. Same boot logo as before, as you see, which is fine by me, because I love that logo. But yeah, both of these are amazing phones. Sometimes they don't handle well, but it's still cool to see a Samsung Android phone running stock OS, stock Android, whatever. Yeah, there's the Nexus S. Next up, we have a cool phone right here. This is a Samsung Galaxy S Continuum. Um, 
this one works perfectly fine. Uh, I guess it's dead, but as you can see, it has two screens. You can see that in the light. Um, one's a ticker display, and you can just slide across, control your music, and stuff like that. And then we have the normal display right here. It's running TouchWiz, obviously, because it's a Galaxy device, and all Galaxy devices run TouchWiz. But yeah. Next up, we have the Samsung Galaxy Lite. I let my dad use this as a main for a bit, but he never used it, so he just gave it back. Um, but, oh my god, that was... That was close. I don't know if you saw that, but that lightning was close. Anyways, this one works. Is it even going to turn on? I don't know. But, okay, I guess it's not. Anyways, it works. There's the thunder. Okay. Next up, we have the Galaxy Exhibit. I think this is. I don't know. I don't think this is the get Exhibit. Here, hold on. I'll be right back. Samsung Galaxy Indulge. I remember, if you're wondering why I'm looking at this manual, it's because I actually got the manual with this phone when I got it from the flea market. Um, anyways, uh, this one works totally fine. Um, there's nothing really special about it, although since it's a Galaxy, it's kind of weird seeing a slide, um, a Galaxy slide phone. Um, but it runs TouchWiz, and it runs pretty well. But yeah, Samsung Intercept works fine. Nothing special about it. I don't know. Um, yeah, there's that. Uh, Samsung Admire. Nothing special about this either. Really, honestly, a crappy phone. Samsung Rep. Works fine. I don't know. Kind of boring phone. Don't have the battery in it, so. Oh, well. This one. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, I got this one separate from eBay. That one separate from eBay. I got this one separate from eBay. That one, I don't remember where I got that one, actually. Um, <clears throat> but I got that one at the flea market. That one from a friend. Flea, or not flea, no, yeah, flea market. Um, a lot of phones, I don't know. This one, I don't remember where I got this one from. But it works. Um, it's, yeah, it's dead. But it's running a really crappy Android 7 ROM that makes it look like Android 7. I don't know. It's crappy, but... I don't know, it was my first time loading a uh, custom ROM, so that was cool. Samsung Dart, really scratched up, as you see. Yay, it, it turns on. Alright. <clears throat> this one may be loud, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna hope it's not. But, yeah, this one has a plastic screen, so that explains why it's... Uh, holy crap! Jesus! Oh my god. Yeah, that was loud. <clears throat> Anyways, has a plastic screen, so that explains why it's so scratched up. Um, but it works. Android 2. Nothing special about it. And that is it for the Android phones. So now we get on to the Java running smartphones, or the sm smartphones running Java. <clears throat> if I could speak correctly, that would be amazing. Anyways, first up we have the Samsung Bright. Uh, this one works perfectly fine. Got this one from Target. Okay, it's dead. <clears throat> I don't remember what this is, but it works, as you see. I'm not going to fully power it on, but I'll show you what it is. This is a Samsung SCH-U820. Works fine. Got this one from Target, um, one of my latest finds. This is a really crappy Samsung phone. I don't know what it is, but I will show you. It is an SPHM 380. Works fine. Uh, yeah, there you go. Works fine. This one, I don't remember what this is. I guess I'll show you. This is an SCH U940. Works fine. And that is it. For all of the smartphones. Oh, come on. Why won't you snap on? Okay, next up, we have one of the two Samsung Gravity first generations that I have. Maybe this one has battery. No, it does not. Okay. Samsung Gravity 2, one of the two that I have, works. Doesn't have the battery, I guess. I don't know. This is the second Gravity 2 that I have. 
works. Doesn't have a charge. I don't really know. Um, I think this is a Rugby 2, if I'm not mistaken. Works, as you can see. One of the two SGH A660s that I have. Um, this one works. Doesn't have a battery. And the hinge is super screwed up. Um, yeah. This one works, except these buttons don't work. This is a SGH A737. This one, in pretty nice condition. Um, it works. Dead. But, uh... It's an SPH M300. Has a, it has a very, very bad screen. Like... The screen just has a very bad resolution. This is one of my favorite little Samsung dumb, dumb phones. It's like a straight ripoff of a Blackberry. I mean, not really, but I don't know. It works. Um, the cool thing about this is that it has freaking Wi-Fi, which is really weird, but cool. Um, yeah. I don't know. It almost looks like a smartphone from the back. Um, I got this one from Target, and... Um, yeah, it looked like a smartphone when it was in the bin. But when I pulled it out, I was like, oh, what? It's one of these. Anyways, as you can see, it has Wi-Fi, which is weird but cool. So, yeah. Next up, we have this pretty cool thing. I'll, take it out. I'll show you what it is before I attempt to power it on. It is an SCH. U340. Works fully. Um, it's dead right now, I guess. So there you go. This one is an S... I think an SGH T659. Yeah, SGH T659. Works, but has a messed up motherboard. I don't know. Like, the screen turns off like three seconds after it turns on. Um, it's weird. This, I'm not even going to mention this, it's really crappy, I don't know. This is the other T659 I have, um, it's dead, works fine. This one is an SGH T239, works fine, um, except for the speaker, which does not work. I can't remember where I got most of these. Anyways, this one holds a special place in my heart. Because even though this isn't the exact one I had, um, it is still the same model of the phone of my very first phone. Um, this is an SGH 1080W, um, <clears throat> and it works perfectly fine. It just doesn't have a battery in it. That's why it's super super light right now. This one I can't remember. I think this one has a bad LCD. This is a Intensity Two. This is a cool phone, the Elias Two. So it flips open like that, flips out like that, and when it's open like this, it has like a full, like normal flip phone keyboard, such as this, for example. I don't know. But then when you flip it open like this, it's cool because it changes into a complete, a, com a full QWERTY keyboard, which is really cool. Um... I think this one's dead. I'll try and power it on, but I can't guarantee anything. Yeah, it's dead. Here is my screwed up uh, Gravity 2, or not Gravity 2, Gravity 1, um, spilt in tea or something, I don't know. Got it from the flea market with the other Gravity. This one, I can't remember what it is, it's going to be a pain in the butt to take off, um, but it works. In mint condition, by the way, too. This one also has a bad LCD. This is an Intensity 2. Um, I got both of these from the same person. So, yeah. My, I think my only, yeah, my only working Intensity 1. Um, I don't know. It's kind of, it looks kind of cheap to me. I don't know. It feels a bit cheap compared to the Intensity 2, but whatever. Oh, no, this one is my, my working intensity one. Um, yeah, I don't know. I thought that was a dead spot. No, that's just, like, dirt or something. Anyways, as you can see, fully works. Here is my mint intensity two. Well, pretty much mint, at least. Other than a few scratches here and there. 
um, with a screen protector. Got it from the same target at the same time I got that one from these. Um, but yeah, this one works totally fine. As you can see, it's a intensity too, if I didn't say that already. Bad memory. I don't really care. Oh well. Um, anyways, this one is the iPhone 2G. This is the $2 iPhone 2G imposter. I'm just kidding. It's not. But it kind of looks like an iPhone 2G, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, I'll show you what it is. This is an SGH S125G. Works fully. Nothing really special about it. <clears throat> but, yeah. Anyways, this is a... I don't know, it's really cheap and kind of crappy. I, I'm i running out of time. I guess I'll show you. I don't really care. Um, this is a SGH C417. <clears throat> Works. Got it at a flea market. We got this. This is a super thin phone. This is like as thin as my S9 Plus, which I'll get to in a bit. But... Um, it's an SGH T519. Works. Dead. Because I don't have a battery in it. Um, there's this crappy thing, which isn't really that crappy, but I like to call it crappy because why not? SCH R375C. <laughs> Really good phone. I don't know. I love it. Kind of crappy, but it works. It's a uh, really cheap track phone anyways, so whatever. Here's another busted um, Intensity 1. Here, I think this is a Convoy 1. Um, missing the back cover, but works fully. Here's the Samsung Intensity 1, and this one also flips up and over to the side, as you can see difference with this in the Intensity 2 is that this one has an actual keyboard where this one is made of electronic, electronic ink. Um, <clears throat> this one's regular buttons, um, which kind of look different. You know, this way it shows the, you know, that this crap, I don't know. And then this way it shows, you know, the full QWERTY. Stuff like that, I don't know. Got it for like less than a dollar at a Goodwill outlet. And it was soaked in water, but I cleaned it up and I got it working, so that's cool. <clears throat> this is my fully working SGH A660. I don't know why, but I really love this design. I was really sad when this fell off my bed and it broke the hinge and crap. But at least I got one now with an actual proper battery and it, it works totally fine. <laughs> Gotta clean it up on the back a tad bit. Or no, that's just scratches. Never mind. I love it. I don't know. Kind of cool. This is a pretty cool little Samsung phone. I got it for three bucks at a flea market, and it came with what the? Got it for three bucks at a flea market, um, and it came with a charger and everything. Um, what's cool about this is that it not only has a rear-facing camera, but also a front-facing camera. So that's cool. Um, yeah, big gay. Um, and then, um, next we have this Samsung. This is a Samsung SGH T229, um, works fully, bit yellowed from some stupid smoker, but works. Um, second to last, we have this crappy Samsung. Uh, this is, uh, this is an SGH A157V works fully and last but not least we have my s9 plus which i am recording on right now i don't know if you'll be able to see it in the reflection but i am recording on the s9 plus right now i don't have enough time to like switch over phones and record on a different one but yeah um yeah there we go you've seen it in other videos i hope but yeah anyways um 
With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. I This is stressful because there's so much stupid background noise. Make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications if you want to see more. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye.